I think GitHub actually hates my command line too. I was at this for eight hours, so I had to make a video about it to show you how I actually ended up at this point. I'm going to give you some of the nerdy tech details because that's what I would want from a video like this. And maybe you can even give me some suggestions of what to try next because I'm pretty stuck. So let's go over everything. So I built a tool for Flutter teams to reduce their manual QA by 90% using a no-code test automation solution. It's common for these tests to also run on something like GitHub Actions or Code Magic, which is basically the devil to me at this point. Now to achieve that, I had to turn my app into a CLI application, which is pure dot. This process required me to remove all of the Flutter specific code and make it a pure, pure dot application, which I completed successfully. On the left here, you'll see my app, which is my desktop application that runs and performs the tests here on the right. I'm not going to let it go through everything because I just want to show you that it works for the CLI as well. It did finish, so that's, that's a win. And then for the terminal, you'll see that if I run the command test suites run, it'll basically do that same thing. So I'm just showing you that it works. That was a nice process converting that into a pure dot application. So the next step is to get it to actually run on GitHub Actions, which sounds pretty simple. All I have to do is install my CLI and then call the same command that I'm calling on my PC and it should work. But that was not the case. I ran into so many issues. First, the JDK was faulty. Then it was too high. Then the Android SDK path was incorrect. And the configuration for the emulator didn't work. Then the API for the Android emulator was too low. And then I got that bug again. The one that I spent nine days to find that I made an entire video about, that same message came back to haunt me. Bad CPU type inexecutable. So my first thought was, okay, this kind of makes sense because I manually built the CLI on my MacBook Pro M1. So all I need to do is change the GitHub Action Runner to use a M1 and everything should work. So I updated the runs on to macOS latest extra large. It's not in here, but I made it extra large because those are the runners that are actually M1 machines. I pushed that code, uh, but that didn't work either. I got the exact same error. So now think about this, right? I'm already at like seven hours in and I don't have any energy to deal with this stuff anymore. So I look at the emulator config as like the last thing I want to do before I sign off for the day. And I didn't like that my test suites command had to run inside of the action through this whole script thing, which is a required parameter. So I thought maybe they are running this in a weird emulator environment and it's not set up for ARM executables. And so I changed that and moved my test switch command into its own step. And I just made their step print out emulator is running. Now, after this commit, I push the action goes through the whole step. It runs again. And then finally, after eight hours of frustration, I realized that this bug just came back to haunt me. It's trying to get another nine days of my coding time from me, and I actually don't know what to do. I didn't end up solving this, so, so this isn't a happy story. I'm trying to just share the pain of what, of what I went through. So tomorrow's day is fully dedicated to fixing this bug and hopefully releasing my new CLI feature and functionality to the users. If you're interested in hearing the story of the first time I experienced this bug, click the video that's on screen now.